I've just taken over as the director general of uh, the Indian Institute of Mass Communication, and uh, I've been associated with this institution for the last 17 years as a teacher. I've been teaching both in English journalism and in development journalism, and uh, most of the faculty members here have been my friends. Working in the premier media organizations in the country, they are still in touch with me. And more than anything else, what brought me here uh, is that uh, is this love for my students, love for teaching, and love for this institution. And I believe that uh, the Indian institution, Institute of Mass Communication has a great potential. Because even today we get, I won't say the best, because I want to give equal credit to other institutions, but among the best students we get from across the country. And I'm really proud of them because I've been on the interview boards and I've been in the you know screening panels. Uh, in fact, I have even checked entrance examination papers here. So I know that we get the best. And uh, they have been given good training, but I believe that you know, sky is the limit. Today, a lot of things have changed in media, and we need to make them more practical, you know, so that when they go out of this place, it should not be a theoretical understanding of media, but also a practical understanding of the media. As a practitioner of journalism for almost three decades now, I think that uh, my emphasis would be on imparting to them not only the theoretical part of journalism which is certainly uh, important for a very strong foundation but also the practical aspects because when they go out they should not get disillusioned so i'm very clear that they should be given that practical exposure and uh, i have immense faith both in my faculty and in my you know students that uh, given a conducive, positive atmosphere in the campus, uh, they will be, when they go out, among the best journalists, among the best media persons in the country. Well, I think that journalism is going through a very critical phase today. A lot of challenges, I can talk endlessly. I've been addressing seminars across the country on this issue. It's facing through a crisis, I must say. And, uh, but at the same time, even today, as the fourth, you know, pillar of democracy, the fourth estate, we play a very key role. It's just that we have to keep reminding ourselves that we are the free press of a developing country and that we should not get bogged down by superficial issues. We have got far more serious issues including poverty, including hunger, including illiteracy, developmental issues, core developmental issues that's in the backyard. We should not get carried away either by technology, we should utilize them but we should not get carried away so much so that we become alienated from our own people, that we give them something for which which they don't require. Rather, our journalism should be should cater to the requirements of a developing country in terms of information, in terms of knowledge. You know, uh, I believe that uh, you know people have immense faith in the media today, though there have been of late instances uh, which have raised questions on the credibility of the media. Uh, but I have. Uh, full faith that at the end of the day we are all here not because of the money uh, we are in the media because something hurts us something doesn't let us sleep you know something doesn't allow us to rest you know so we, we, we need to wake up and we need to you know just uh, understand that important role that we have to play in a developing I'm sure that you know uh, we can do a wonderful job. I have immense faith in uh, 
uh, and at a time when the world over print media is closing down here is in my country you know it's growing by leaps and bounds so i i have immense faith more television channels are coming up only thing is that yes now there is need for some introspection and i'm sure that uh, every profession needs introspection every profession needs continued you know in in the medical parlance there is something called cme you know doctors go for a cme program that's called a continuing medical education program because once a doctor learns something you know he keeps going to his school not necessarily the medical school but he keeps attending the cme programs to update himself on the latest findings similarly i think that every media person should also take a break you know and then go for these courses to understand to gain how media is changing in the rest of the world they need to reorient go for orientation programs and uh, god willing i i think that and if i get the opportunity i i hope to introduce programs orientation programs for even working journalists let's see Okay. <laughs>